Hello YouTube! Welcome back to my One Ring playthrough of Dark Souls 2. I'm sure we all know the draw already by now. So I won't belabor the point. And we'll be heading up to Dranglaire Castle this time, I believe. Since all the Lord Souls have been collected. I say Lord Souls, Great One Souls, whatever they're supposed to be. Um, why am I walking there? It seems like a rather bizarre waste of time. I just sort of <laughs> started heading over towards where it was physically in the world. But, uh, I can walk between bonfires. Why did I suddenly forget that? I don't know. Guess I put the game down for slightly too long. <laughs> um, which bonfire was it again? Oh yes, it was the Ruined Fork Road bonfire. We'll get there eventually. had a strange sort of brain fart at the moment. I noticed that I'm level 99, which seems quite large. But also seems kind of odd, because I haven't... Ah! I should concentrate on what I'm doing before I start... ...amusing myself with thoughts of what is going to happen. What I was trying to say is, I don't think I've been farming precisely during this playthrough, but I have reached a rather impressive level. And I recently had uh, a chance to replay Dark Souls 1 the other day, and, uh, well, you don't quite feel like you get... I realize that uh, one level in Dark Souls 2 isn't quite the same as one level in Dark Souls 1. Dark Souls 1 levels are more expensive. But I felt like if I rushed through that game and just leveled up as I pleased, I still would not level up quite as fast as I seem to be in this game. I don't know if it's just because uh, I haven't been buying lots of expensive equipment or whatever, but I don't know. It seems like I've leveled up very quickly by this part of the game. And I'm not really like I'm not really certain what happened. <laughs> I know during my very my very first blind let's play of Dark Souls 2, I was I was like limiting my level eh, limiting the amount that I had leveled up based on what I thought were like Dark Souls 1 standards. And that's probably one of the reasons why I had a hard time during that blind let's play of the game. Because I was like I misunderstood what leveling what numbers of were appropriate for what areas. Yeah, I should probably concentrate on this fat dude. Oh. This guy's a little tougher than most of the invisible enemies. But he's not too bad. You just gotta find the sweet spot and just punch him to death, I guess. If you've got actual weapons, he's not so bad, but what am I supposed to do? And I've only got fisticuffs. Um, we don't have the key for this DLC yet, but we've got. Ah, I, I, I'm glad that I thought of that. Next time we go back to Majula, I will have to try and get the key for uh, the Sunken Crown DLC. <laughs> I like how I followed the path down for no particular reason when I could have just run off. I'm in a strange mood, I think. <laughs> I'm wasting a lot of Estus, sort of just charging through. I should be playing carefully, and I am most definitely not playing carefully right now. For a whole bunch of that crap should, would not have happened already. I think this is roughly the right idea with... Out of habit, I tried to lock on. <laughs> Even though there's no way to lock on to these guys. There we go. At least there's not too many of them. Uh, I'm not looking forward to trying to get into the castle itself, though. I just remembered some of the fun uh, <laughs> enemies that are probably going to be waiting for me. At least it's not New Game Plus that I don't have to deal with that red phantom hammer dude. Ugh. 
But there are going to be two Mastodon soldiers. I know that's not their actual name, but like, you know what they are. Yeah, but we just... Nope. Nope. I failed. Surprise attack is done. Ah! I couldn't have gotten any closer to him, and it still didn't connect. There we go. There we are. That feels a bit more satisfying. I like this, there's supposed to be items here somewhere. Did I, was it like down here or something? No. I know there's one up behind a rock just up here, but aside from that, I guess that's, I guess that's it. <laughs> So just not thinking clearly. This cast, but nonetheless, you must forge up to bring an end. Yes, yes. So our first problem is going to be these two guys, who I desperately wish I could fight separately, but I guess I cannot. Oh well, just... Nope. Don't get too greedy. Take advantage of the fact that you're on stairs. Dark Souls is a weird game where, where the person standing at the top of the stairs is usually at the disadvantage. <laughs> It's like the complete opposite of conventional wisdom. It's like high ground is uh, not an advantage. I like how the only time I got hit was when I started fighting the one that was by itself. Because I started getting careless. Being super careful when you fight two of them, never get hit. Start fighting one of them. Oh, what's that? You think you're hot stuff? I'm gonna hit you. First things first, usually just rush the first guy. He's standing right next to the golem. Then... Oh! They showed up in a hurry. The royal soldiers... I thought... Took a little bit... Oh! Crap! I've screwed this up. Nope. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Damn it! What a setback. I wonder if it will remember that I opened the door, though. That was weird. The last two times I tried this, that... To open, like, I've, uh... I had been playing this game, like, on a couple of different characters before I started this playthrough. And I rushed that door, like, a couple of times in Scholar of the First Sin. And those royal swordsmen did not show up, usually for a good 20 seconds. I don't know why this first guy always gives me trouble. So no, that surprised the heck out of me when those when the swordsmen suddenly showed up. Maybe I maybe I stood for too long at the top of the stairs. And that somehow started their timer. I don't know. I'd have to. And these guys. I don't know what it is about them. I think it's because they're blocking when they don't really look like they're blocking. Like, them holding up their shield looks really like they're not holding up their shield. Did I leave the treasure back here, did I? Oh well. It's a good chance to grab it. There's a human effigy and everything there. No, it's not fun to um, die <laughs> at the top of the Drangleic Castle stairs. 
pretty much as bad as it could possibly be. Ah! Really hate it. Like, it's a. That should have been a clean hit. You're basically right up against their hitbox. You can't get any closer, and then suddenly it's just like, nope, you're not close enough. You should have brought a longer weapon. I'll be complaining about it this entire playthrough, I'm sure. But. It's true. Nothing worse than being right next to the thing you're trying to hit and not hitting. Come to think of it, he has a sword. Oh. I... Yeah, I'm not having a good day of it. This ain't fun. This part is just not fun. Ah. If only I had slightly, slightly, slight amount of poise. Even extremely annoying that even dagger hits can stun me. And that I'm using up so much Estus. Just trying to get down the road. Oh well, this is exposing the flaws in my playstyle. I'm too reliant on my defense. I should be rolling and backstabbing and doing all, like, unlocked backstabbing. That thing that really good people can do that I can't. Should be doing all those things. Instead... Drop down. Drop down. There we go. Pull out your sword, do you? No? Come down here with your crossbow, that would be fine too, but... Not gonna make it that easy, are you? Arrgh. Okay. We're still okay. Doesn't mean I have to fight those damn ancient soldier abomination things. Run away from me. Thank you. Oh well, it wasn't so bad on the way up, so... Hopefully the door is open, and I can just run through. Yep, looks like the door is open. So my previous trip wasn't a complete waste. Means I can probably just run through. Which, I don't mind if I do, frankly. need to talk to the Chancellor for any reason, so... Might just rush for the goal, as it were. Get to the bonfire, then I'm pretty much home free. Yep. Nope. Oh! Guess he got his shield up at the last second. Anyway, let's not muck about. come back to the light. He'll start chasing me, but he should be easy to deal with. Come on down. All good. Now, can I get to the bonfire? Don't see why not. Cool. No problem. Time to go back to Majula and fix that issue with the uh, DLC key. Hi. Uh, all right. I suck it. You want to go down? Fine. You need but you. Well, I guess...
Hey. D -d Cheers for that. Oh, that's a long ladder. <laughs> anyway, if you're wondering why I went quiet there for a second, it's because I'm anticipating some noise in the background. But, uh, so, if I go quiet again, it'll be for that reason. Or if you hear anything strange, it'll be for that reason. But, uh, I'll soldier on as long as I can. Now, there's the Dragon's Talon. That'll let you get into the DLC area. But, of course, you need the forgotten key to open this door. So on and so forth, so it's a bit more annoying to get to than it used to be. The last DLC key is the easiest to get to, the one that's just in Castle Drang Lake proper. It's not very far forward from that bonfire that we just unlocked. Either way, let's put our homeward bones back on our hotbar. Jump out of the hole this way. Yep, I don't foresee any problems, so I think we can just proceed on our merry way at the moment. I have to remember to unlock the uh, bonfire next to the dragon riders this time. You'd be surprised how often I don't uh, remember to do that. I usually just kill the Dragon Riders and keep going to the next one. But I'll probably need the extra payday this time. Yeah. I do not want to be caught. Oh. Oh well. It's fine. I just don't want to actually fight any Ruined Sentinels at the moment. Here we are. Frozen flower. Now we have all the DLC keys. For you. Some general purpose treasure. Don't mind if I do. Now I don't remember any problems running up here. Ah, wait. Should be some... Some guys there willing to break my equipment. Now, they changed how some of this operates in the uh, Scholar of the First Sin. I kind of love, hate this room. But at the very least, the dart traps in this room do not go off until you open the chest, so... There's a very good argument for just ignoring the chest until later on. Because if you're anything like me, you typically end up having to fight these next couple of guys on the way down. So... I feel like, yeah, I don't think I managed it last time, but you can seemingly aggro them one at a time, instead of all at once. It does make this quite a bit easier. Well, I think if you walk through the middle of the room, you tend to get both of them unfrozen at the same time. You end up having to fight two of them instead of one. I should I don't feel like parrying them with my hands. I feel like I'm just destined to fail if I if I go down that route. Oh wait! Oh crap! Take it back. I thought there was only two. At least the backstabs are effective. Maybe a little too effective. <laughs> Should get ourselves some nameless usurper. 
pretty quickly. I always like to fight her in this room. Doesn't usually put up much of a fight, but this time it might be a bit different, because... This time I'm... Pr like, normally we just have the plain old weapon advantage over her, but... <laughs> it's, that's always incredibly funny, though. Just like, slap, 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 slap. Slap, slap. Nope. Okay, she's still, she's still, still super weak. Yes, yes. We need to. That's the best way to do this. Excellent. Now I don't have to worry about being sent back down to the ground floor. Uh-oh. I was hoping that would finish him. Here's our ladder. Let's keep going. But one of those night statues unfroze. But I guess not. Oh, wait. Take it back. He unfroze to backstab- oh, to ambushes. It's just... The way I went down to the bonfire, apparently you avoided him. Damn it. Let me get behind you. <laughs> ah, <laughs> that was me trying to parry there. Oh. Wait, maybe the two-handed parry's a really slow parry. I'm not entirely certain what's happening there. Something, something about that felt really wrong. Like, it feels like that. No, it's roughly the same. I don't know. I just feel like it was really slow. I know you have to be like super precise with the unhanded, unarmed parry, but like, it still felt weird. Oh well. Either way, is the Sandra? Admirably on your journey, cursed undead. I am Nishan, a true monarch, the last king of this land. He found the strength to rule his people. And when the undead were born, he found more strength, but in the end... Yes, yes. Visit. Same old, same old. We have no time for you, Nisandra, though. You have to fight an un uninspired uh, Dragon Rider boss fight. I don't know if that sound is coming through, but if it is, it seems like somebody is trying to Skype me. But, we're near the end of this video, so let's hopefully get these Dragon Riders out of the way. Got a lot of Estus. Chaotic than anything. Oh, I was timing that to go together, but I guess not. <laughs> yeah, he got bored of it, as he probably should. Have. Oh! <laughs> Flawless victory! Against the blue one, anyway. The red one at least takes more hits. Might not be flawless victory, but like... If any boss was ever going to get flawless victory... Nope, not flawless. He hit me. Oh, the shame to me and my descendants. Anyway. Not pretend you were going to be any challenge to me. The Mirror Knight is probably going to be much more difficult than something like that. But I say we go get level 100, and then we not level up for a while, maybe. I 
I think 100 is a is a fine level to be in this game. Bearer see less. Put all our souls into something more useful. Good. Do I get one point of endurance? So we get one point of endurance. <laughs> The thing about leveling up at this point is I don't feel like I'm going to get much more benefit out of it. Oh, speak. Let's dump all our souls into something else. Visit me again. Let's see if we can find some. Ah, life gems, of course. You. Just for some basic first aid. Won't do any harm. Thank you. It's not like we've ever run out of life gems anyway, but you never know when you're going to need them. I don't like the concept in the game in general, but like the game's balanced around the idea, so why not? Anyway, I think that's uh, a little shorter than usual, but uh, that should be good enough for one video. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time.